speak, say we, because I mean me and my voice. We are two, two different things, absolutely. My how? instrument must How be can you be two different things? It must be two different things, in the terms of thinking. I, I, I must think I have here an instrument who is, is mine because God gives to me, but I have, to, I have to treat like he's a piano, like he's a violin, like he's another instrument. Then uh, I cannot go to my head because I know I cannot, I cannot do anything without him, without her, without the voice. <laughs> A voice is not something that can just be turned on. It is like a piano that must be tuned every day. There is as much tedium of warm-up for a singer as there is for a dancer or an athlete. And there are days when it seems that the whole affair has turned to rust. <laughs> I need somebody with hot tea. <laughs> Pavarotti's base is the Metropolitan Opera, but he spends most of each year on tour. Chicago. Chicago. Let's go. A tenor's prime is short, and the most must be made of it. The audience are always ready to hear the tenor make a mistake, never a baritone. In my country, for example, they say, let's go to boo the tenor. They never say, let's go to boo the baritone, because they know then instinctively, if he's somebody who can make a mistake, is the tenor, because he has the most difficult voice. Do you feel that your voice now at age 43 is at its best or do you have some some distance to go yet? I think now is at its best. It's already two or three years than is at its best and uh, I am prepared uh, around uh, 50 to be a little down. Pavarotti is 56 now and still going strong. But listen to him then, the voice at its prime, the man at his best. Buddy. 